What is going on everyone? So today I'm going to be talking about some of the don'ts of what not to do before you go to Poland or what not to do in Poland or to say to Polish people. Uh, this is going to save you guys some time and basically you're just going to be learning from my mistakes and also other people's mistakes. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started here. Alright, so number one, don't say Polish death camps at all. This is, uh, number one, it's false, obviously, but Polish people get super upset about this when you say this, so um, trust me, I learned the hard way, do not say this. Don't even say Nazi death camps, actually say German death camps. Poles are pretty specific about that, because obviously it's a very sensitive issue, so save yourself some time and disrespect and just say German death camps instead. Number two, don't even compare Poland with any other country, even the Slavic countries at all, like Russia or Ukraine, don't even compare one bit, don't even compare with Germany at all in any way, um, just keep it to just Poland, okay, trust me. So yeah, don't compare at all Poland with any place that's geographically close to it at all. Just stick with Poland, okay? You're gonna save yourself some time and disrespect. And you know, Poland just wants to be known as Poland. It doesn't wanna be associated with any other country at all. It'd be basically the same as saying like, the US is the same as Canada, which is completely not. So, and most people wouldn't even compare the two, honestly. So, um, it's kind of like the same thing, except it's somewhat more sensitive, I think. All right, so speaking of geography, Poland is also Central Europe. It's not Eastern at all. So when you look at the map of Europe, it's actually straight in the center. So don't even say Eastern. I kind of get where people are going with the Eastern though. It's because, you know, Polish language is Slavic and, you know, the Slavic languages are east of Poland. So, so there's more Slavic languages on the Eastern side, but again, don't confuse that. It's center of Europe. All right. So this is another one. It's kind of a weird one, but Polish people like to stare. And I noticed this whenever I was riding the bus in Poland and someone would be staring at me for like forever. And I would just, I would look back and I would look them in the eyes and they wouldn't stop looking. They would continue to look. And I didn't know if like they liked me or if they wanted to beat me up either or I didn't know. Um, I asked my girlfriend about this and she basically said that it's like kind of normal there. And my conclusion about this is that Polish people, I think are just, normally curious about people i guess and they they like to stare i guess so don't think that they're trying to fight you or or even that they like you because they're probably just curious this is just one story where i was on the bus and it was probably about a 20 minute bus ride and during that time every five minutes i was checking to see if this person was still looking at me and they were for like the entire bus ride so it's just really creeping me out and <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just, I, I think it's just a thing of like curiosity, but um, obviously in America, that's like totally not the case. And if someone stares at you for a while, there's some type of issue for sure. Okay. And number four is don't not learn the language. Okay. All right. So coming from America, you think most countries speak English, for instance, like, you know, that it's Poland and you know that they speak Polish, but you, you think that, oh, you can get away with just speaking English. That's not really the case. You can only really get away with it slightly. Most Poles right now in my generation and younger are learning English and they're getting better at it. Some of the older ones aren't really educated completely with it. And even the ones in my generation aren't all learning English. So don't expect everyone to know English when you come to Poland. And instead, I would try learning just a couple words in Polish, a few phrases. Just get started with YouTube and Quizlet. And if you want to learn how I kind of taught myself a little bit of Polish that set me off well, then you can go to the video. Uh, you can just click it. It's like a bubble up here. And that'll take you to a video where you can kind of get an idea, motivation, and inspiration to learn Polish. Okay, so you know in the States when you're walking down the street and you just, you know, you talk to someone, you're like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And you just walk by and the other person says, oh, hey, how are you doing? Or, you know, yo, what's up? And you're just walking down the street. Well, in Poland, that's not really the case. And if you ask someone, jak or how are you doing? You're actually going to get a full answer. And they don't really understand that how's it going is really just a greeting to English speakers. So yeah, don't, don't ask people how they're doing unless you actually want to know. All right, another one is don't just go to Warsaw and Krakow. There's so many places in Poland to visit and travel and explore. So just go out, try to have a Polish friend that can take you on an amazing adventure all across Poland because there's so many awesome places 
besides Warsaw and Krakow that you have to go to and you have to see. Alright, so this is number 7 and the final one, but don't expect Polish people to all be drinkers or to drink at like the dinner table, because that's not really the case. And coming over, I actually, th you know, I kind of thought, and I believe the stereotype, that all Poles were just drinking vodka and they all loved vodka and stuff. Well, the family that I was with, my girlfriend's family, yeah, they drank vodka and stuff. But not every family is really into drinking and this kind of surprised me actually just don't expect everyone to be heavy drinkers there because that's not really true at all all right guys that's actually it for today so if you want to check out some other polish american related content here on youtube check out my other videos on my channel and yeah that's pretty much it today and i'm so excited for more content coming soon Dziękuję i do widzenia